What is up everyone? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use speed stick to make a stencil for actual fake skin. So for this video, I drew up a quick stencil of a skull and a little bone. That's what we're going to use to stick down. I'm also going to use the stencil stuff I usually use, which is green gold. We're going to do them side by side and see which one works better for fake skins. And if this is your first video or you're new to the channel, I'm Brandon from Tattooing 101. And make sure you are liking and subscribing down below and hitting the little bell notification so you can be updated on all of our new content. So before I get into the actual video of showing side by side which one works better, I'm going to explain a little bit about speed stick why people use it things like that so if you are tattooing on fake skin this is a great thing that you could use i've seen artists do it pretty much my whole career now when it comes to actually tattooing clients so if you are already past the stage of tattooing on fake skins and you're working on actual people you want to make sure that you are not using this so this could be for a couple different reasons. There's other stencil application products out there that are readily available pretty much everywhere, just like this, or there's stencil stuff, or a ton of different brands. So this is not really needed. Now another thing would be, whenever you are using this, you know, you shave your client first and then you would like just touch this to their skin. If you cut a little nick on them with the razor or anything like that, if they had bacteria on them, you are pretty much just wiping this and every customer that you do is going to have that same stuff on here, which is disgusting, and you don't want to do that for you know problems with bloodborne pathogens, cross contamination. All of these things are probably the most important thing when it comes to tattooing. So make sure you're following all the sanitation rules that you need to. So I'll say it one more time: make sure you're only using this when it comes to tattooing fake skins, not actual human clients. So there's a couple more things. Um, on the type of deodorant you get. So if you get one that's antiperspirant, this will not work for stencils. You wanna make sure you're getting one that is the regular deodorant. It'll look like this. If you get the antiperspirant, which is white, it's not going to create a stencil. This is because of the ingredients inside of the actual stick. Awesome, so now that I went over some do's and don'ts when it comes to using this product, let's get into the actual video. Cool, so the longer fake skin is going to be for the speed stick, and the smaller one's going to be the green gold, which I have been using for all the stencils I've been doing. So I'm excited to see how much better the speed stick is or how much worse it is. Uh, before we put the stencil stuff down on the fake skin, I always like to spray it down with alcohol and get all of the extra oils they use whenever making the product off of it. It'll help it stick a little bit better and hold up better through time. Awesome, so first starting out, let's try the green gold. Uh, so we'll just put a little bit on there. And I just like to wipe it in so it's not overpowering. Um, if you put too much on it, it's going to smear your stencil everywhere. So I just put some on there and kind of wipe it off until it gets to a sticky consistency on the fake skins. Then we'll just lay this stencil right down on there. And I like to press down for a couple of seconds. And then just peel it off. So that would be the green gold. And now we will jump on to the speed stick. So I'm gonna use the same process. I already, obviously I already wiped it down. We're just going to apply this to it. Making sure you get all the areas that you're going to be laying the stencil down on. And let's place the stencil. I will say that right off the bat, it doesn't look like it's so smeary, if that makes sense. So like using the green gold, it's kind of clumpy and this goes on just a lot easier than the green gold would. Pressing down just like I would the other one. Yes, yeah, so this one seems to stick a lot better as well. Awesome, so yeah, it looks like it goes on drier so instead of like smearing right away, it looks like it goes on a little bit drier and yeah, like right off the bat, it doesn't smear as bad as the actual green gold. Which is awesome to see. I might have to incorporate the speed stick on every fake skin I do from now on. The best test for this would be waiting a couple hours. So I'm gonna wait two hours, what I normally would do on an actual tattoo before starting it. Um, and then I'm going to check to see how much it smears. What I'm gonna do is Fast forward the time so you guys aren't having to sit here with me for two hours, and then we'll come back and see how good this holds up 
and I could tell you 100% which one is better, the green gold or the speed stick. I'll see you guys in a couple of seconds. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So let's check out how the speed stick did. I'm just gonna pat it really quick and see how much comes off. So there's absolutely none on the speed stick one. Let's try the golden, let's try the green gold. And it looks like, yeah, you could definitely see that some came off on the actual paper towel here, which means that it's not completely dry yet. So in this instance, the speed stick actually worked better than the actual stencil stuff when it comes to fake skins, of course. So this is awesome. I'm really glad to see this. And 100% I will be using speed stick in the future, which is crazy to me. When I first saw this, I didn't think it was going to work this good. Um, yeah, so it's awesome to see. It goes to show that you could learn something new, um, you know, every single day when it comes to tattooing, which is awesome. So I hope this was able to help you guys out. And just to show you exactly how to use the speed stick and what to use it on and what not to use it on. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.